In my role as a chaplain, I addressed a basketball team during a tournament. I spoke to them about how your thinking can change your play and the outcome of the game. I reminded them that the previous night they had played a great first half and for most of the third quarter they were still in the lead. Then a few missed shots and a couple of ball handling errors and the complaining and the criticizing began. I was able to tell them precisely when they changed from their almost flawless play to the old mistake-ridden and critical form of play. Before that, as their chaplain, I had prayed and thanked God for their perfect execution of the basketball fundamentals necessary to win a ball game. I was impressed with them. So what happened? They started to dwell on their mistakes. They were not minimizing the negative and maximizing the positive. I want to challenge you as you start your day regarding ways to handle your mistakes. So in order to handle your mistakes, two things are very important. First, let go of bad habits. What was the bad habit that you started to repeat in the last quarter you played in your game of life? Was it complaining and criticizing, for example? Instead of criticizing yourself or others for mistakes, let them go. They are in the past. You have to do this in basketball and in life or you will never be all you could be. Don't let learning from your own experiences take too long. If you have been doing something wrong for the last 10 years, I would suggest that's long enough, so stop. Quit thinking about the old mistakes. Don't think about them and you'll likely not repeat them. In Proverbs 28, 13, Solomon said, a man who refuses to admit his mistakes can never be successful, but if he confesses and forsakes them, he gets another chance. Notice Solomon said you get another chance when you confess and forsake your mistakes. Satan wants to keep you focused on your mistakes so he can get you to repeat them and thereby defeat yourself. So let go of bad habits. And number two, let your mistakes be a school. Here's a good advice. Don't let mistakes overwhelm you. Let them educate you. In basketball, I encourage our players to learn from what they had done wrong. Study the game film, I told them. Get on the practice court and learn how to correct your mistakes. I knew that the things the players retained throughout their lives would be the things that were used to encourage and equip them. They wanted to be better basketball players and they wanted to be better persons. I believe they could do both. If they went to school on their mistakes, there is no reason they couldn't win. We are not to rehearse our mistakes over and over again in our minds. That is a waste of mental energy. But we are to learn from them. You are playing the more important game of life today. What are you going to do about your mistakes? In Jeremiah 8, 4 and 5, Jeremiah said, Once again, give them this message from the Lord. When a person falls, he jumps up again. When he is on the wrong road and discovers his mistake, he goes back to the fork where he made the wrong turn. But these people keep on along their evil path, even though I warned them. Concerning your mistakes, do not keep on making them. Go back to the place where you took the wrong turn and choose a correct path and win in your life again. Here's good advice. Let your mistakes be a classroom for learning in the game of life. Let go of bad habits and let your mistakes be of school.